Hello student, today we will see CCP module. What is mean by CCP? CCP stands for Capture, Compare and PWM. Sixteen bit capture register is there, sixteen bit compare registers are there, and ten bit PWM master slave duty cycle registers are there. This PWM is recently added, or we can say enhanced, to drive DC motor. So the capture mode, if the register constantly changes its value, this mode provides access. To the current state of that register in this case it is timer 1 register it is basically used in timer 1 register then compare mode this mode constantly compare the values of two registers one of that register is timer 1 register tmr1 and when predetermined about of timer expires this circuit also allow the user to trigger an external event like it establish interrupt timer interrupt then pwm pulse width modulation this mode can generate signal of varying frequency and a duty cycle on one or more output pins the pwm pins the ccp pins are assigned for cap capture, compare and PWM purpose. In CCP module, the capture mode is used for timer 1 or timer 3. Whereas compare the timer 1 or timer 3 and PWM is assigned for the timer 2. Each CCP module has three registers. One is CCP x con is 8 bit it is control register so we are having ccp1 ccp2 ccp3 con registers so ccp x con is 8 bit control register we select one of the compare capture from this control register and Two registers are CCPRXL and CCPRH from low and high byte of 16 bit register. The 16 bit registers can be used either 16 bit compare register or 16 bit capture register or 8 bit duty cycle register by PWM. But we cannot use all together. We can use one one by one one capture or compare or pw we cannot use simultaneously all the three together so we'll see first control register only ccp con we'll see the ccp con is eight bit register so we'll see one by one this dc1 b1 dc1 b0 is used for pwm duty cycle if it is 1 and if it is 0 then in capture mode these two are not used and compare mode also these two are not used in pwm modes these two bits are 2 LSB 0 1 0 10 bit PWM duty cycle the upper bits of DC 9 and DC 2 of the duty cycles are found from see 10 bit is there the PWM is 10 bit so we are having 8 bit control registers control register CCP X L and CCP H to store this 10 bit data. So in PWM, the 8 from that CCP X H and CCP X L and the upper two bits from this two register two bits. The upper two 
or 9 and 10 is from these two beads. Then CCPX M3, this beat 3, will decide if it is 0, 0, then it is capture, compare, or PWM off state. If it is 0, 0, 1, it is reserve. For compare, it is use 0, 0, 1, 0. It will toggle the, that CCPX IF bits. In capture mode, the capture for CAN, or falling gauge or every rising gauge, the capture mode for fourth rising gauge, sixteenth rising gauge. So we are having four combination of capture mode and compare mode initialize CCP pins. So CCP pins are given on microcontroller. Compare initialize CCP pin high on compare match for CCP pin is low. If the compare it, if it is match then this pin will go low if it is not matched then this pin will be go high the compare mode ccp pin is unaffected then only last is used for the pwm mode so this bit we are used in pwm also pwm lectures also we use these two we configure this ccp1 con during PWM lecture. So these are two the 8 bit, lower 8 bit, and upper 8 bit, and the higher low 8 bits and upper 2 bits on from the CCP CCP1 con control register. So this CCP are XH and CCP are XL. So each CCP module is having these three registers. Thank you, student.